This video contains basic homeowner information. If you're a pro or in the business, I'm sure you already know this. So just a quick video here. Uh, I have a power washer that does about four gallons per minute. And with a, with a power washer that can supply more water than my house can supply, you need a buffer tank. So in other words, what I mean is, if I hook up to the faucet of my house, I have a well that's 700 feet down. The most my house can provide is maybe two and a half gallons, maybe three gallons per minute. This pressure washer is belt driven and the pump delivers four gallons per minute. So the pros know this because their pumps do five, six, seven, eight gallons per minute. You need a buffer tank. A buffer tank is any container that holds a relatively large volume of water that's plumbed to your power washer. Its function is to allow you to pull more water then your faucet can deliver to your machine. Water source goes into the buffer tank and then the water goes out of the buffer tank and into the washer pump. So all this is a trash container. I drilled a hole and put what's called a bulkhead fitting and there is just this regular hose that goes to the power washer. And what happens is this keeps water in it. So what I, the way it works is instead of running the power washer hose from the hose bib directly to the power washer, and if it can only deliver two gallons per minute and the pump is putting out four gallons per minute or five or six, it's going to starve for water and it's going to lose prime and gain prime and lose prime and gain prime. It's not going to work properly. Is you take the faucet, you take the water from the house, you put the water from the house, you run it into here. Now, you don't have it all full. You could run it on slow. Depends on how fast you're gonna use it. So you put it on medium and you let this fill. So the idea is you're using it at the same rate as you're filling it, or even a little bit slower. So you let that fill. When I start it and the pump starts running, it'll suck it right from there. All right, I usually start it with my hand on here, I'm, I'm holding this in. So let's turn it on. Put it on medium. Let's choke it, I haven't used this in a while. You're running it, it's pulling it. It's pulling the water right out of here, right from the bucket. I mean, that thing is 55 gallons, that bucket. So at four gallons per minute, if it's completely filled, 10 minutes is 40 gallons, 12 minutes is 48 gallons. So let's say you could run that 12 minutes with that filled. But if you got two gallons per minute going in and four coming out, you're losing two per minute, let's say. Two gallons per minute, you're losing. 